Hi everyone, Claudia here from Lighting Clarity. I've pulled some cards for you all uh, today. So what I'd like you to do is um, just feeling into whether Pile 1, Pile 2 or Pile 3 has a message for you from your, uh, your Holly team. So without further ado, I'm just going to uh, reveal the cards for Pile 1. So we have two cards, Retreat into Nature, Solitude. It's a beautiful card. And the other card that comes with that, so actually what I'm feeling as I look at to this particular card is, I'm feeling as though some of you at the moment are feeling a bit down within yourselves. There is a need to look within. So there's been some sort of opportunity that's been missing or an opportunity that has been missed. You're also not, feel, not feeling as motivated about the future as you could be. So Spirit is asking you to set some healthy boundaries um, with other people. Follow what brings you joy. Indeed, care for other people, but don't forget about yourselves. And they're also talking about you have the ability of choice here. Look at this card. Let me see it. It's a beautiful card. Let me have a further look at these cards as well. So I'm feeling as though um, you are going to make a decision on something, on which way to go with something. And either some of you will be forced to make this decision and some of you will just choose to make this decision. Um, you're going to choose the healthier road, is what they're saying as I sit here, which is good to say. You're going to choose the healthier road for you. And they're showing that as you walk down that healthier road, whatever decision you come to regarding whatever the situation is about or, or whatever this is in general, you're going to feel happier for it. So I'm seeing further joy coming in for you further down the road as you make the choices and move forward. You hold it all within you and you actually know this. Talk about the word adventure, that you hold the energy of adventure within you as well. And you hold the energy of wisdom too. You have some very, very loyal guides around you in your teams that are assisting you. You are not alone. They're wanting you to know that wherever you go, whatever road you walk down, they're going to walk with you. And they're going to help you. Yeah, these are your holy teams. I want to call them spirit guides. This is your spirit guides. You know, we've got our holy teams. We've got the guardian angels with us. We've got the archangels who work with us, the ascended masters, the goddesses. But these are your spirit guides that are quite loyal standing by you. And I want to call them your master guides. They're not your spirit guides that come in for temporary reasons that help you through certain life lessons and they step back and another lot step forward. These people are your master guides. They're with you from birth until death and you put them in place to assist you in this lifetime. Knowing some of the themes that you would move through that they would be able to assist you and they are reminding you that they are there. Okay, and they're going to move you through whatever it is that you need to be moved through with this. So I'll leave you. Thank you, Pile 1. Now, Pile 2, we have, have hope for the future. New energies are coming in. So with this, I want to say, um, you also hold the, uh, the energy of wisdom, of experience. Feeling it's your own queen energy as such. So I'm feeling with you also, we have Master Kathumi who is with you too. And he's wanting you to know, Master Kathumi, that you hold the world in your hands. You hold all that you want in your hands. You're also making me feel you hold the energy of alchemy as well. They're asking you to look within, to seek your own wise counsel here. And also have prosperity. It's a beautiful card. And it's all about abundance. Abundance in a broad sense to do with not just money, but life, feeling happier. So this is a change you asked for, um, is what they're showing me. It's a change that you asked for. When we go to sleep at night, often we hold meetings with our holy teams 
we all go back home to the heavens to receive the nutrients we need and we come back down into our bodies and you've been holding some meetings you've been asking for assistance on some particular a particular life issue or it's to do with life in general you've been asking for change and they're making me feel that this has been granted so you've been plotting this change with your holy teams in the heavens they're showing you've been plotting the steps towards the changes coming in and you're going to start to see the fruits of your labor with that plotting as well but master kathumi is with you he says you hold the world in your hands um he says you are far wiser than you give yourselves credit for and you're far more intelligent and far more resourceful than you give yourself credit for so he's he's with you um as a as a loving guide he says if you wish for me to work with you more directly i will do that but if you are not, I will stand by the sidelines and I will watch. But um, he comes with a lot of warmth towards each of you, Master Kasumi. He is lovely. He is amazing. Look him up. Look him up. All right. Thank you, Pile 2. Pile 3. We have Arise from the Ashes of Despair. So there's uh, far more that's going on here. So they're asking you to let go of, of what was, of a past. Um, and there's letting you know that time is going to assist you as you move forward with healing your heart centers. They're asking you to perhaps look through what was and look past it, they're saying, and look to what's coming in for you. You yourselves also have some very powerful guides around you. And I want to say you've got some shamanic guides around you as well. And they are assisting you. They are aware of... Some of the pain that you have experienced uh, and they have been right there alongside you they're saying and they are assisting with moving you forward through whatever pain whatever um, upset has been around you you have felt they are looking to move you through it now actively and they're asking you to look at the rainbow at the end they're saying there is a rainbow that will be coming in but it is up to you to change what it is that you feel inside. It is up to you to believe, they're saying, that there is something more for you, that it doesn't stop here with what has occurred. In fact, they're saying to me they won't allow that as a group to all of you who have picked pole through. They won't allow you to stop. They're going to make sure you come through this. So the other card that came out is finding a mentor. They're also talking about spending time with friends. Doing something that you enjoy that makes you laugh, whether you take in a show, a comedy show, something that brings in the energy of abundance within you. They also talking about speaking to someone that perhaps um, can assist you, whether this is in the form of a counsellor, a psychologist, or someone that's a resource that can assist you with what it is that you're moving through. Even doing some sort of uh, courses online that lift up you, lift you up internally. I mentor a lot of clients, that's what I do in my mentorships, they run for 10 weeks. Um, you certainly can start off having a reading with me and we can go from there if you're needing this help. And if you're feeling drawn to me, this is, something, this is what I do. I move people through the pain that they're in and I bring them to the other side. That is how spirit works through me in the course. It's quite a powerful course. But apart from that, um, they're asking you to spend some time doing something that you enjoy, being gentle with the self finding time to laugh they're asking you to surround yourself with colors in the home wearing different colors on the body that lift you up that open up your eyesight yeah that bring in um joyful feelings within there is a need for upliftment spending time near the beach will be very cleansing as well going for a walk along the beach um if you can swim in the beach you know it's a warm climate going all the way under cleanses the aura in the chakras as well but they're asking you to do different things to place small things on your path each week that lifts your vibration that assists you on a mental health front okay and putting those in place even putting on your calendar each week what is you're going to do that weekend for yourself and something each night whether it's you reading a chapter of a book you really enjoy whether it's you decide to ring a different friend each night and whether it's you decide to meet a friend for an early dinner. You need to start doing more than what you have to lift yourself up. This isn't going to last forever what you're feeling. You will move through this. Yeah. 
but finding someone who can assist you would be great if you're feeling you're at that, that point. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Okay. Many warm blessings, everyone. Ah, before I go, I'm bringing out especially November for a reading and healing combined. Um, keep a look out for when I advertise that. It'll be early November I do. Uh, and it's 90 minutes with me. So it's an hour reading and a half an hour healing, or it could be a 45 minute reading and a 45 minute healing, uh, whatever you choose it to be, that's fine. But it's working with me for 90 minutes and it is a special that I'll be bringing out in November. It will be on special. So uh, keep a look out for that. Thanks everybody.